Hello guys, before I explain what BMC stands for, let me ask you a few questions. Who keeps taking care of your computer? Does it even need any special care? If it works everything is fine and if something goes wrong, you take it to the service. If you have some skills and a screwdriver, you can do some simple maintenance alone. Clean the fan if it gets noisy, replace the hard drive if you want more space or reinstall the operating system. Easy, things get a bit more complicated when you are the only guy with a screwdriver in your family. But with the right tools and a bit of time still feasible. But how many IT guys does it take to keep a huge server house running? Again, with the right tools not as much. And by the tools I do not mean screwdrivers this time, but this inconspicuous chip called BMC. This little system on chip is running even when the machine is turned off, it has an independent power supply runs a special distribution of Linux and waits for the command sent over the Ethernet port. Even most reliable computers need some sort of watchdog, which resets them when they stop responding or turn off in case of a more serious failure. And this is why the board management controller, or BNC for short, is integrated into servers or more advanced routers. It allows the IT maintenance to be done remotely, not only you can turn on or off the machine and monitor the power consumption, it also monitors the overall system health including all temperatures, fans, voltages from onboard power management ICs. You can talk to the computer over UART or enumerate installed DDRAMs over I3C interface. And the BMC chip from A-Speed which we are using is also able to emulate graphical adapter over PCIe bus and in conjunction with emulated keyboard and mouse over USB you get full control of the operating system remotely. We are learning from the best and have incorporated OpenBNC platform from Facebook or Meta if you want into our prototype. They didn't like the close culture of BMC solutions available in the past, so they started developing their own BMC firmware. They keep it open to the public and other big players such as IBM, Intel or Google started contributing to it and using it on their machines. Let's see how they did it. After the bootloader finishes its task and Linux starts running, it provides a bunch of configurable debug services for collecting vital data of the system. Every manufacturer uses its own services for communication over specific peripherals or to specific components. To communicate with the target CPU or chipset, IPMI interface is usually used, but it's considered as obsolete and requires counterpart IP on the CPU. We have replaced it with plain SPI interface with Tachyon proprietary protocol. This is how the A-Speed A1 BMC is integrated into our FPGA prototype. While most of the connections are just experimental and will be important for the next stage of development, for now we only use UART and SPI for communication with firmware and operating system services. ASPID BMC does not support SPI slave mode, but we have come up with a workaround called bitbanging. We can emulate the whole peripheral just by using GPIO pins and still achieve decent transmission speeds. We have recently switched to the latest revision ASPID A3 to be able to use the newest features of OpenBSC project. Unfortunately, it wasn't possible to replace the chip on our FPJ prototype, so we are developing our customized firmware on an evaluation board called AST2600 EVB, which you can see right now. Since currently there is no communication link between BMC and FPGA, we need to emulate a lot of services to keep the BMC services happy and reporting valid responses. But that's not a big deal. Having the board as an independent component is easier for development and closer to our final solution where the BMC will be in form of DCSCM board as an optional component. OpenBMC is using Yocto building system. For Tachyon specific features and customization, we have introduced our own Meta Tachyon Yocto layer. It supports two boards, A-Speed AST2600 evaluation board and Tachyon proprietary BMC board targeted for the Tachyon Prodigy evaluation platform. By providing dash dev suffix, instead of the single SPI flash image, four files are generated which are necessary for network boot. Normally this system is designed so that the firmware is flashed to the EEPROM memory over RS-232 or with SPI programmer or it can be loaded from SD card. You can imagine this is a lengthy process if you want to test several builds every day. But we have succeeded in significantly improving the development process to load kernel and file system over the network. After reset we load uboot SPL through RS-232. In the following step the uboot is loaded into DDRAM. The last two steps, loading kernel via TFTP and mounting rootfs from NFS in kernel mode, are done over Ethernet. To start the flushing procedure, one must press the reset button on the board. 
For fully remote debugging we attach Agilent Digital Discovery Logic Analyzer which does this job for us. The core software application called BMC Web exposes several services to be accessed remotely over the Redfish REST API. Some of them are related to the sensors and devices attached to the BMC directly, such as fans, LEDs, digitally controlled switches for turning on or resetting the machine, temperature sensors and other devices present on the I2C bus. The others provides insights into the target CPU. With UEFI services we can change the BIOS configuration and with Linux services we can monitor the CPU or memory load, performance counters or remotely execute commands. And last but not least, there is the web interface. From the software point of view there are two servers running on the BMC system which we can access. One is web server hosting static HTML files of the user interface application called WebUI. The second is a backend service providing all live data over Redfish REST API for the web application written in Vue framework. WebUR application is off-the-shelf software and a lot of features you will get for free. For example the event log, inventory or list of sensors and many more. But we have also added three Tachyon specific pages. System configuration page shows BIOS configuration entries from UFI. This is just an experimental feature and not yet connected to the UFI since the communication interface between CPU and BMC is under development. Hardware inventory shows real-time data from sensors and their statuses. Simplified 3D model rendered with WebGL technology is used to highlight devices that report problems. IT administrator can easily identify failing fan or RAM reporting ECC errors with its location within server cases. Maintenance and device replacement can be done without reading the documentation or reading tiny labels printed on mainboard. Software activity. This page currently displays statistics from one of our workstations while the CPU BMC interface is in development. In the final stage this will be used to verify the BMC services running directly in the machine operating system. We are showing here the response to Linux command htop and system utilization charts showing CPU and memory loads. Serial overrun is another off-the-shelf feature which we will use to talk to FPGA prototype over UART. Currently this just redirected to a dummy WebSocket service. There is a lot of amazing stuff we are working on at the Tachyums Bratislava office. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss the latest news from us.